I, and could you could you explain what's the difference between having a conversation with a recruiter and having a conversation with a operation manager during the process of recruitment? Well, so that's a really, really good question. <laughs> that's a really good I question know. because <laughs> we, we, are, um, we are talking about two different stories. So yep. the things that a recruiter is looking for specifically, so maybe they're looking for uh, hard skills. So if you are really good typing, um, so if there's a transportation for the area where you live at, um, if you have pretty much deep enough to perform in the position, so they're looking to um, to look the perfect profile to your um, to your skills. So that's the the first filter, if we can say it in that way. Mm -hmm. Once they they provide us with the feedback. So um, when I mean feedbacks, I'm talking about grammar tests, uh, typing, speaking, and and percent. Once okay. they have all once they have all that information, so they share. Uh, those details with us. So once we have them, so we we do not know obviously the, the, the person, but we have a better understanding about uh, what we what we have or, or what the person um, uh, has to share. So mm -hmm. during the the interview that I have regularly with people, so I'm looking for so maybe if that person has some kind of flexibility, mm -hmm. um, talking about schedule, uh, flexibility, talking about the exam. Because some people tend to believe that uh, just for like looking for a job, it's it's for granted that they're going to have weekends off, et cetera, et cetera. So one of the things that I really like to like to say it is, uh, or like to keep it is the, with honesty mm -hmm. and say the thing in the proper way. So do not create false expectations um, to, to anyone. Um, additionally, I'll mm -hmm. go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Additionally, so maybe if this person is really good uh, while navigating through internet, so one page to another, that's really important for us. Um, and one of the most important things is transportation. Because at the end of the day, so if we're hiring someone, so we want the person to perform uh, really good. So do not expose anyone to, uh, to any type of um, uh, situation outside. But I mean situation, so maybe that person comes really early and take a taxi. So that's, that's, that's really dangerous for us. So we try to avoid those type of situations. I see. So pretty much uh, when we talk about the recruitment process, right, and, and, when, and they are facing a, the position uh, or they are facing an interview with a recruiter, pretty much the, that will be the first, the first filter where they will check if the candidate actually meets the demands, right, of for them the basic to requirement the basic yes the basic requirement because at the end of the day so we have different logos and each logo has some kind of requirement so they try to fit the person to the perfect profit to the perfect pro program um I see. because i mean if you have any type of background that maybe can add some value to the final result in any specific logo that's perfect for you and it's perfect for us because that it's not costing us any type of attrition. So we're not in the spot. So maybe you can leave in a couple of months. At the end, hiring someone is a really huge investment. So we don't want to lose, we don't want to lose our resource. When I mean resource or people, which is Absolutely. the most important resource. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. People, people is a great asset, right? For the operation of a campaign or for the operation uh of a company for the system sustainability sustainability i think it is the right word yeah. sustainability of the company itself 